Lie down comfortably onto a mat. If you feel you need to lift your hips a bit just to um, get a bit of inversion, just put a block or something under, under your hips. If it doesn't feel comfortable for you to lie down flat on the mat, put something under your knees or even just bend your knees and have them, the feet on the mat. Okay, so I'm gonna lie down completely flat and let's inhale. Just interlace our fingers and stretch from our fingertips all the way down to the tip of our toes and just give that body a nice stretch all the way. And if you wanna sort of alternate stretching left and right shoulder, including the hip. Just be gentle with your body unless you've already done a five or 10K run this morning or been for a swim or a cycle. Just be mindful and if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. It's all about feeling good today. Keep stretching and then slowly unstretch your arms and place your left hand onto your heart and your right hand just around your belly button or a bit further below your belly button, depending on where it feels comfortable to you. It always depends on the length of your arm and it might not feel comfortable having it further down where your sacral chakra is. Just place it where your belly button is. Lengthen your neck, tucking your chin towards your chest slightly so that you have a nice elongation of your spine all the way up to your crown chakra. Let's inhale deeply into the belly first. Expanding that belly like a balloon. You might feel a bit of stretching in your lumbar spine just because it's stretching the muscles if you extend your belly. And then exhale slowly, allowing your belly button to fall back towards your spine. And again, inhale into your belly, lifting that right hand while your belly is inflating. And exhale slowly. And make those exhales longer than your inhales. And again, inhale. And inhale all the way up to your solar plexus so you can feel the bottom ribs just lifting up a tad bit. And then exhale slowly. With the next inhale, we're gonna inhale into the belly, expanding the belly, pulling that breath all the way up into that rib cage, all the way up to our left hand, so the chest will rise as well. Inhale into your belly, pull the breath up into your solar plexus, into the ribs, expanding them, and then all the way up to your heart, raising your chest. And if you want to accentuate it, just make a hollow back with your lumbar spine, raising your chest and your belly. And then exhaling first from your left hand, lowering your ribs down to the mat, and then slightly contracting your ribs, and then slowly pulling your belly button back towards the spine. And you wait until your natural inhalation happens again. And then you inhale into your belly. Pull that breath up into your solar plexus and the ribs. Raising your chest lightly, breathing into that left hand just above your heart chakra. And then exhaling from your chest, ribs, solar plexus belly button. Well, let's do that another three times. You can do it in your own time. Just make sure that your exhale is longer than your inhale. Into, and inhale into your belly. Pull it up into your solar plexus. Expand your ribs. Fill your lungs, raising that left hand with the action. And then exhale, lowering your upper ribs, slightly contracting those ribs. And then gently pulling your belly button back towards the spine. 
trying to lower your lumbar spine down to the mat. If you need to tilt your pelvis slightly, then you do so. Inhale into your belly. Pull it up into the solar plexus. Up into the ribs, expanding them, and then all the way up to your heart chakra. Raising that chest towards the ceiling or the sky, depending on where you are. And exhale, lower your chest to the mat. Contracting your ribs and pulling your belly button back towards the spine. Last time, inhale, expand that belly. Pull it up into your ribs, expanding the ribs. And lift your chest up towards the ceiling or sky. And then exhale slowly, lowering your back down towards the mat, slightly contracting your ribs and pulling your belly button back towards your spine. And then slightly tilt your pelvis, like your pubic bone wants to come say hi to your nose, so that your entire lumbar spine gets to rest onto the mat. Inhale, and allow your spine to find that natural curve. On the next inhale, take the left knee towards your chest and gently hug it towards your knee, expanding your right leg out. So you're pointing your right toes and pull that right leg out of your right hip. You'll feel a stretch in your hip, in the right hip, and maybe in your right So as. Make sure that your neck and the entire spine is flat on the mat. Your shoulder blades are square on the mat as well. Inhale, change sides. Gently hug your right knee towards your chest. Point the toes of both feet. Extend that left leg out of your left hip, pulling out of that hip, feeling it in the hip flexor and in maybe even in your quads, depending on what you did yesterday. Let's repeat one more time on each side. Inhale, change sides, pulling that left knee towards your chest. On the next inhale, change sides again. Hugging that right knee towards your chest, extending that left foot out of your hip. Inhale, hug both knees towards your chest and gently sway from side to side. Just activating the nadi left and right of your spine. On the left, you've got the female. On the right, you've got the male. Just like, let's get that balanced out. And then roll over your right side and come to a seated position. If you feel dizzy, please just move slowly. And then come into a lotus or half lotus or stretch your legs or kneel just so that you feel comfortable and root down through your sit bones, lengthen your spine all the way up towards the seating. Feel like somebody's pulling a red thread from your crown chakra all the way up to the sky. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Relax your forehead and just place your hands wherever they come to rest, be it on your knees, in your lap, next to your thighs. Comfort, that's key today. And keep your eyes closed and just go inside and see where is my attention today? Is it more in my chest? Is it in my abdomen? Is it in my head? Or is it evenly distributed across my entire body and there is no tension or no dark space present today? If you do find tension or a dark spot, direct your breath to that area. And on the next inhale, take your hands in front of your heart center, lightly touching your sternum with your thumbs and lowering your forehead down to your fingertips. Just think of an intention, dedication, affirmation that you'd like to place 
into this space now to guide you through the next 60 minutes or so. Something to ground you, and something to just center you. If you found it, repeat it to yourself three times. And then slowly open your eyes, wriggle your fingers, and rotate your wrists in both directions just to get some activation there in your wrists, maybe even in your elbows and shoulders. And then interlace your fingers, reach your arms up, and feel that stretch from your hips, along your obliques and ribs, along your arms, all the way. If you want to tug on your fingers, you might even feel a stretch across your palms and your fingers. And take those shoulders up towards your ears, lengthening that spine. Keep your core tight so that you don't fall into a hollow back. And on your exhale, take your hands down, gently pulling on your wrists. If you want to open your uh, chest, rotate your shoulders backwards as well. And moving those shoulders away from your ears, if you want to tuck your chin down to your chest, do so. Tugging on your wrists in a gentle pull down towards the floor. You might feel a stretch just along your ribs in your upper back, along your neck, across your shoulders, and maybe even just on the side of your neck from your earlobes down to your shoulders. On the next inhale, let's go up again. Big inhale, take those shoulders along. If you hear any cracking noises, perfect. Then you've aligned your spine. And then exhale, come on down again, pulling on your wrists. Turn your shoulders back so you open that chest as well, tugging your chin down to your chest. On the next inhale, look forward, reach your hands out, splaying those fingers so that you can stretch, feel the stretch in between the individual digits and pull those fingertips to opposing walls. It'll relax your shoulders away from your ears. Make sure that your palms are facing forward and your arms are horizontal. Keep pulling, you'll feel the stretch across your palms, maybe in your wrists, and then all the way along your arms, into your elbows, maybe even in your bicep or tricep, depending again on what you did yesterday and the entire week. On the exhale, go hug yourself, gently holding onto your shoulders or shoulder blades, pulling those shoulders away from the ears, relaxing your forehead. If you want to tuck your chin down to your chest, and feeling that stretch across your shoulder girdle and along your neck. Inhale, open again. And this time, we're not only going to stretch out to the side, we're going to bend our arms back from the shoulder, feeling that extended stretch across the chest, maybe even more in your arms. If you want to, drop your chin down to your chest. Make sure you keep your arms as horizontal, parallel to the ground as possible not lowering them down. Feel that squeezing in between your shoulder blades. And on your exhale, swap the arm that is on the top. Go hold your shoulders and pull them away from your ears, dropping your chin down to your chest. Hugs are just fantastic. Very good. Inhale, look forward. And then let's rotate those shoulders back and forward and then place your right hand just next to your right thigh inhale reach your left arm up taking that shoulder along again so you'll feel the stretch from your left hip all the way up to the tip of the fingers of your left hand make sure the left hip is firmly rooted into the ground pushing that left sit bone into the mat and then on the exhale, we're going to bend over right. So you'll feel that stretch again from your left hip all the way across your obliques, your left ribs and shoulders and arm. Don't drop that arm. Keep it nicely engaged. If you feel you can bend more without lifting your left hip bone, walk your right hand further away from your body, maybe even bending that right elbow down towards the mat. The more you will bend, the more or the bigger the stretch will be from your hip all the way to the bottom of your ribs. Also make sure your, your left shoulder is open, not closed. 
So if you want to look up towards the ceiling. And on the next inhale, come on up again. Let's change sides. Left hand goes onto the mat. Inhale, reach that right hand up towards the sky, stretching from your right hip all the way up to your right hand, firmly planting your right sit bone into the ground and pushing your right hip down. Exhale over to the left side. And don't worry, one side is always easier than the other one. Here again, if you want to look up to the ceiling, do so. Depends on how fit your neck is. Same as on the right side, if you feel you can do a bit more of a bend, move your left hand away from your left thighs, maybe even bend your left elbow. Just do as much as feels good to you today. And inhale, come back. Let's do one more on each side. Reach up, exhale, bend over to the right side. Firmly pressing your left hip down towards the mat. Both sit bones are grounded into the mat. And pulling on your left hand, or imagine somebody's pulling your wrist. So you'll get an extension of that arm out of your shoulder. Inhale, come back. Let's change sides, left hand down. Inhale, reach your right hand up. Exhale, bend over to the left side. Reach far with your right wrist. Again, imagine somebody's pulling on your arm and the right hips firmly grounded down into the mat. Inhale, come back. And rotate your shoulders backwards and forwards. Beautiful. Let's come into a tabletop, making sure that those knees are hip distance apart. Your toes can either be flat on the mat or tucked under. Make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart. Your fingers are nicely splayed. We're going to turn our hands so that the fingertips are facing our knees. Pinky fingers are touching. And make sure you have a 90 degree angle between your knee and your hip or the upper body. So we've done this before, splaying those fingers nicely. All 10 fingers are pressing firmly into the ground. Now, the minute we feel some discomfort in our wrists or elbows, we will hunch our shoulders forward to our ears. We don't want to do that. So we're going to inhale. We're going to rotate those shoulders back away from the ears. Shoulder blades are pulling down towards the tailbone. And the core is tight so that we do not fall into a hollow back. And now we're going to gently sway back and forth. Tiny movements. You'll feel the stretch across your fingers, across your palms, up uh, around your wrists, and then all the way up towards your elbow. Something we hardly ever stretch. So those of you who do a lot of manual labor, it might feel pretty tight. So gently swaying back and forth. For those of you who don't feel anything, you can go into a downward facing dog as well. Just looks a bit crazy. You can't place your head between your arms because well, my shoulders are very narrow. Um, it doesn't give you a bigger intensive stretch. So just stay like this. And let's keep swaying another three times back and forth. Make sure check in that your shoulders are away from your ears and your core is tight. And on the last one, we're gonna flatten our toes and we're gonna slowly sit down onto our heels and we're gonna keep our palms on the mat for as long as possible. And then their wrist will lift and then we'll stretch the palms and then we're gonna bend those fingers back, stretching them, and then come to sit on your heels and just place your hands onto your lap and see how they feel. They might feel huge because we've stretched those muscles. And then just drop your chin down towards your chest and allow those shoulders to get nice and heavy, pulling away from your ears. And then bring tiny movements into your fingers, wriggling them, just getting that blood flowing. And then rotate your wrists gently in both directions. And then let's come back into a tabletop. This time we're going to place our hands 
the top of the hands going to go onto the mat, fingertips are facing our knees again, and try to get the thumbs to touch and all 10 fingernails pressing firmly into the mat. Your wrists are facing forward towards the short side of the mat. Again, your shoulders will be hunched towards your ears because this is an uncomfortable and uncommon or yeah, uncommon position for you. So just rotate your shoulders back towards your ears, pulling your shoulder blades down towards your tailbone. And this might already be enough for you to feel that stretch from your wrists all the way up on that muscle that bunches just on the top of your elbow. If that is like that, then you stay there. If you don't feel enough, then gently sway back and forth without resting on the top of your hand because that might come, become very uncomfortable. Make sure that your thumbnails are also pressing into the mat. Here as well, you could go into downward facing dog, but I do believe we're just gonna stay like this and sway back and forth another three times. And keep breathing two. And last and come forward with the inhale and on the exhale, slowly sit back here as well. Gently come on to sit on your heels and just place your hands, palms facing down this time, just onto your thighs. Close your eyes, drop your chin down to your chest and just see what your wrists and hands feel like, whether your arms feel stretched and just sit with that sensation. And on the next inhale, gently lift your hands off your lap, wriggle your fingers and rotate those wrists gently in both directions. And then let's go back into tabletop. Place your right hand under the center line of your body, tightening that core. We're gonna inhale, move the arm left horizontally to the ground. And on the exhale, we're gently gonna twist open to the left. Your gaze is following your left hand, reaching your fingers up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, we'll come down, change sides. Left hand under the center line of your body. Inhale, take your right arm over to the side horizontal. Exhale, twist open to the right side, opening your chest. And your gaze follows your right fingers up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach your fingers up. Exhale, come on down. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, come on to horizontal. Exhale, twist open to the left. Inhale, reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, reach your right arm out horizontal. Exhale, twist open towards the right. Your gaze is following your right hand up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach the right fingertips up towards the ceiling and exhale, come on down. And then drop your glutes down to your heels, come into child pose, resting your belly onto your thighs and reaching your fingertips away from your forehead or head. Forehead goes down to the mat and your arms are active and your fingertips are reaching away from your body, lengthening from your sit bones all the way along your back along your shoulders, your arms, and all the way up to your fingertips. We're going to stay here for three breaths. And two. And last one. On the next inhale, look forward. And let's come into it tabletop, tuck your toes under and let's push up into a very short downward facing dog, short meaning in distance. You will have to walk your hands 10 or so centimeters away from where they were before to get that full stretch. Adjust your body so that it feels right to you. Your fingers are splayed, your hands are shoulder width apart. Your shoulders are squared and your shoulder blades are pulling way down to your shoulder, your sit bones. And then try to arch your back so that your sit bones get a glimpse of the ceiling, bending your knees, just stretching the upper part of your body first. You're gazing down to your knees. Give your head a bit of a nod and a shake. 
And then let's try to stretch those legs as good as possible, pulling those heels down towards the ground. Your feet are hip distance apart. Those of you who have your heels down on the ground, if you want to raise your toes, just to get those shin muscles activated. And keep breathing. And then drop those toes down to the mat. On the next inhale, we're going to look forward and gently flow forward into a plank. The shoulders will automatically come forward towards your ears. The minute we have our shoulders above our elbows, pull those shoulder blades down towards the tailbone. Engage your legs, pulling the heels back towards the posing wall. Your quads are engaged, your core is engaged, your upper back is lightly round. And look straight down towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale, slowly push back into downward facing dog. We're going to repeat this five times. Do it in your own time. Be gentle and adjust every time you come into downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, flow forward, rounding your shoulders in the motion, coming forward into plank, pulling shoulder blades back to the tailbone, engaging legs and pulling heels back. Inhale. Exhale, float back into downward facing dog, pulling those shoulder blades back towards the tailbone again. Sit bones, want to get a glimpse of the ceiling, bend those knees and just stretch the glutes and the hips. And then lower those heels down towards the mat. Engage your quads as well. Feel that stretch from your heels along your hamstrings all the way along your back and all the way along your arms to your fingertips. Inhale, look forward, float forward into plank. This is number three, I think. And pull your shoulder blades down to tailbone, engage your quads. Exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale, two more. And feel strong while you're in that plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, last one, plank. And we're just going to stay here, pulling your heels back towards the wall. Engage your quads. Core is tight. And your shoulder blades are pulling away down towards your tailbone. Lower your knees down to the mat, flatten your toes, and come into a child's pose. Taking your arms left and right next to your thighs, allowing those shoulders to drop down towards the mat, rounding your upper back, and resting your abdomen on your thighs. Stay here for three breaths. Two more. And last one. On the next inhale, tuck your forehead towards your knees, rounding your back. And with the strength of your lower back and core, slowly raise your upper body to come to sit on your heels. And just be mindful your head comes up last. And then come forward with your hands. It's coming to a plank. Your shoulders and your elbows and your wrists are nicely aligned. Inhale. Hold your core, hold your quads. We're going to move the left knee to the left elbow. Point the toes of your left foot. And then we're going to go back, replace the left foot. Take the right knee towards the right elbow. If you want to scoot forward onto the tip of your left toes, do so. Point the toes of your right foot and replace your right foot. You go left again, left elbow, left knee touch. Lizard pose, come on back, replace your left foot, right knee comes to right elbow, and back, 
Two more on each side. Left knee comes to left elbow. And back. Right knee comes to right elbow. And back, you're doing great. Last one on each side. Left knee to left elbow. And back. And right knee to right elbow. And back. Lower your knees down to the mat. Take them out to the short side, or the long side, that is. Flatten your toes and come into wide knee child pose, allowing your abdomen to flow down towards that mat if you want to. Lower your chest down to the mat and either drop your chin or your forehead down onto that mat. Your arms are active. And just allow your lower back to widen and to rest on your heels for two breaths. Nice stretch on your inner hips, especially after those lizard planks we just did before. And on the next inhale, slowly come on back a bit with your hands. And now with active hands, your fingers are splayed, pressing firmly into the mat seat. Move those shoulders away from your ears, rotate them slightly out, and pull your shoulder blades all the way down to your tailbone, activating the upper back. Lengthen that neck of yours and relax your forehead. You'll feel that pushing motion, pushing your pelvis down onto your heels. And on the next inhale, tuck your toes under, take your knees under again, take your hands a bit forward so that you can move up into a plank position. Take your right hand under your center line and open into side plank onto the left side. Make sure that your wrist elbow and shoulder is aligned. If this is too much, place your right knee down under your hip and open up into a supported side plank. If it's not enough, place your stack your feet and lift your left leg up as well into a starfish pose. Down, exhale, come on down into plank. Catch your breath and change sides left hand comes under center line open up to the right again here make sure that your wrist elbow and shoulders are aligned if it's too much place your left knee under your center line and reach your right hand up or stack your feet and then reaching your right foot up to the ceiling as well pushing your left hip firmly away from the mat Inhale, reach up, exhale, come on down into plank. Lower your knees down and come into child pose, reaching your fingertips away from your body, stretching that entire backside. Deep inhale, deep exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. The next inhale, let's look forward, come forward, come back into the plank, and then slowly walk towards your hands. This is not just a plank class, don't worry. Place your feet hip distance apart, sort of to get the hip distance right. Place both fists next to each other and then place those fists in between your feet, then their hip distance apart. And then grab your elbows, and if you wanna have your legs straight or bent, doesn't matter. Just allow gravity to pull your shoulders and head down towards the mat. And I'd like you to travel into the soles of your feet to see whether, where you have most of your weight locked into the foot. Very often it's in the heel and then you'll actually feel that your glutes are pulling back and there's more weight in your lower back. So try to transfer some weight towards the balls of your feet or even to your toes and to the inner arch of your foot in the outer edge of your foot. Let's get comfortable with having your entire weight distributed evenly across both soles of your feet. And two more breaths here. And last one. 
And then on the next inhale, slowly roll on up into standing position. Very gentle rolling up vertebra after vertebra and your head comes up last. And then reach your hands up. Shoulders pull away from your ears and your hands come into heart center. We're gonna flow through the sun salutation three times just to get all those energy channels balanced and because we can open our heart center. So get out to the top of your mat, inhale, your quads are tight, your pelvis is slightly tilted, your core is tight, inhale, reach your hands up, shoulders are away from your ears, exhale, forward fold, either with bent knees or straight, inhale, half lift, straight leg, straight back, shoulders pull away from your ears, make sure that you're looking straight down so that your neck is nice and flat, Exhale, come back into plank with your left foot first. And then bending your elbows, come down into Chaturanga. Inhale, rotate your shoulders back. Come into Upward Facing Dog or Cobra. And then exhale, use your core to pull yourself back into Downward Facing Dog. Stretching that entire back side of your body. And then inhale, look forward. Step forward with your left foot. Place your right knee down onto the mat, flatten your toes, scoot your knee back so that you can feel the stretch in your psoas. Inhale, come on up, reach your fingers up towards the ceiling and then allow your pelvis to drop down. Opening your chest slightly, be careful that you don't fall into a hollow back so your core is tight and you're still slightly tilting your pelvis forward. Exhale, place your hands down onto the mat, tuck your right toes up, stretch that right leg and then hop that right foot up to join your left, come straight into a half lift, looking down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up with your fingertips, shoulders away from your ears, exhale, hands in front of your heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, let's go again, fingers up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, looking down. Exhale, step back with your right foot into plank. And bending your elbows really close, come into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And then using your core on your exhale, to pull yourself back down into a downward facing dog. On the next inhale, step your right foot towards your hands, drop your left knee down onto the mat, scooting it back so that you get a stretch in your psoas, flatten your left toes and rooting through your right foot, lift up and then lower your pelvis down towards the floor so that you can increase that stretch in your psoas. Here again, make sure your pelvis is tilted forward so that you don't fall into a hollow back. And then exhale, place your hands down onto the mat, tuck your left toes under, lift your left leg, and then slowly hop or walk towards the right foot coming straight into a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. And hands come in front of your heart center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back into plant with your left foot first. Bending your elbows close to your ribs, come down into Chaturanga. Inhale, rotate your shoulders, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, move your left foot forward towards your hands, drop your right knee down, flatten your toes, root through your left foot, lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, drop your hips down towards the mat. If you want to, you can put in a slight back bend, but only from your lower ribs. So you're opening from your lower ribs all the way up to your shoulders without arching your lower back. Exhale, place your hands down onto the mat, tuck your right toes 
under and step forward towards your left foot coming to a half lift exhale forward fold inhale all the way up exhale hands in front of your heart center and again inhale exhale forward fold inhale half lift exhale step back with your right foot first coming to plank go all the way down into chaturanga inhale upward facing dog or cobra rotating your shoulders looking up towards the ceiling and then exhale into a downward facing dog inhale step your right foot forward drop your left knee down and then rooting through your right foot inhale reach your fingertips up and then lower your pelvis or hips down towards the mat again here if you want to add a back bend just bend from your lower ribs all the way to your shoulders and then exhale tuck your left toes under and step forward to your right foot coming straight into a half lift exhale forward fold inhale all the way up pulling your shoulders away from your ears and taking your hands in front of your heart center to keep balance we're going to do it each one more time on each side so two more goes here we go inhale exhale forward fold inhale half lift looking straight down exhale step back with your left foot first and then with your right come into plank exhaling all the way down into chaturanga elbows close inhale upward facing dog or cobra rotating those shoulders back and then come on back into a downward facing dog inhale look forward move your left foot towards your hands drop your right knee down scoot it back flatten your right toes rooting through your left foot reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling dropping your pelvis down feeling that stretch in your hamstrings on the right side open that chest up towards the ceiling without falling into a hollow back and then exhale place your hands down onto the mat tuck your right toes under and meet your left foot come straight into a half lift exhale forward fold inhale all the way up and exhale hands come in front of your heart center last time inhale fingers go up taking your shoulders away from your ears exhale forward fold inhale half lift exhale place your hands down step back with your right foot then with your left coming to plank all the way down into chaturanga inhale rotate your shoulders backwards coming to upward facing dog or cobra and then pull yourself back into downward facing dog stretching that entire back side of your body on the next inhale look forward step your right foot forward drop your left knee down drop your left toes flat onto the mat and rooting through your right foot reach your hands up towards the ceiling and allow your pelvis to drop down towards the mat giving you a nice stretch in your left psoas if you want to open your chest up towards the ceiling without falling to a hollow back keep your core nice and tight and then exhale come on down with your hands tuck your left toes under lift your left knee and move up to meet your right foot come into a half lift looking straight down onto that mat remember the soles of your feet so that you have the entire weight across both soles of your feet and then exhale forward fold and inhale slowly come on up reaching those fingertips up taking those shoulders along lengthening the space between your hips and your shoulders and then actively pull those shoulder blades away down towards your tailbone and take your hands in front of your heart center very good let's come down to a seated position on the mat 
I'm going to do some evil arms here because we did a lot of planks. We did a lot of upper arm or upper body work. So um, come into a boat pose for the lower body. And your hands come behind your glutes or behind your hips. And your thumbs are touching so that we're making sure that our shoulders are nice and close. Make sure that your elbows don't fall out. So we don't want closed shoulders. We want open shoulders, okay? So fingertips are facing your glutes. Now walk those hands away already a bit so that you're coming into a reverse tabletop arm position. The more you'll bend, you'll see your elbows will go out. So don't bend too much yet. Your hands are in place. Your feet can either be tucked together or hip distance apart. Just remember, you've got a balloon in between your knees and that's not gonna go anywhere, just to protect your lower back. So on the next inhale, we're gonna rotate our shoulders back, opening our chest, Dolly Parton, here we come. Okay, and now we're gonna bend those elbows, trying to keep the elbows close together. So imagine somebody's holding them or even pushing them towards each other. You'll feel a stretch across your chest, across the anterior deltoid, and maybe even right at the top of your upper arm. If you don't feel anything, then walk your fingers further away from your lower back. Just always realign again, open the chest, rotate the shoulders back so that you feel that stretch, and then bend those elbows squeezing either the knees or the imaginary balloon in between your knees and let's go down, 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 down until you reach a point where you say like, mm -mm, my lower back is gonna collapse because I want to just get out of that painful situation. And then we stay there and we'll breathe for five, four, beautiful stretch, three, two, one, and then slowly come on up. And maybe walk your feet further away from your body so that you can slowly come to rest your upper body onto your thighs and allow your shoulders to fall and become round, dropping your head in between your knees or coughs. And just put your hands wherever they wanna rest, either fingers facing away from your body or they're next to your feet whatever feels most comfortable to you. We're gonna stay here for three breaths. And two more. Feel that nice stretch along your neck as well. Last breath. And on the next inhale, slowly come to a seated position. Let's go stretch that front body some more. We're gonna come into a similar position again, but this time we're gonna go into a reverse tabletop. So don't, your thumbs don't have to touch. Your wrists are just below your shoulders. Plant your feet firmly into the ground. Open that chest again, rotating your shoulders back. Inhale and then slowly lift your glutes off the mat, pressing firmly into the hands and your feet, and your hips wanna go skyward. If you have a healthy neck and you feel comfortable enough, drop your head in between your shoulders, firmly pressing into your hands. You'll feel that stretch along your arms as well, maybe even in your psoas and hips. If your neck does not wanna drop back, just look along the front side of your body towards your knees. Here again, don't allow your knees to fall out. Imagine that balloon you have and firmly squeeze it. The higher you can go with your pelvis, the more you can stretch the entire front side of your body. So we're gonna stay here for another five, four, three, two, one. And then slowly lower your hips down onto that mat. Scooting so that you have enough space, come down onto your elbows. And then lie down completely onto your back. Gently take one knee after the other and hug it towards you. Lengthening that neck by tucking your chin down towards your chest. And then stretch those legs 
cross them at the knees and bend them again. So in my case, I have my left knee closest to my chest, which means I'll be stretching my left side of the body and the left outer hip. If this is enough and you just wanna grab your knees and tug them towards your chest without rolling your lower back off the mat, that's fine. If you'd like a bit more of a stretch, grab hold of your ankles or your feet and gently tugging these feet down towards the mat. Make sure that your shoulder blades are firmly planted flat on the mat. Your neck is nice and flat as well. Still got that peach or ping pong ball between your chin and your chest. And then gently tug on those ankles. It's uh, Gomokasana, cow face pose, just lying on our back, back. So we'll do that on Wednesday. I'll have to make a note. Wednesday we'll do cow face pose. Beautiful stretch. And on the next inhale, cross your knees the other way. And then either just tugging on your knees towards your chest, getting that nice stretch, the outer side of mine is now the right side because the right knee is closest to my chest. Here again, if you want a bigger stretch or you didn't feel anything before, grab hold of your feet or ankles and gently tug those feet down towards the mat and towards your body at the same time. Lengthen your neck and flatten those shoulder blades. There's a stretch in the outer glutes as well, depending on what you did yesterday or even this morning. And then on the next inhale, let's come on back. Stretch those legs, point those toes and stretch those hands and arms up towards the ceiling. Everything is pointed, try to get an angle between your lower body and your upper body where your core does not have to work. Reach them up and then place your arms left and right of your body. Take your feet down onto the mat with your knees bent and either just sway from side to side or drop your knees over to the left side and look over to the right, stretching the right side from your shoulders along your your ribs and your hips. If you want added stretch, place your left ankle onto the outside of your right knee and gently apply pressure. And while you're doing this, go inside your body and see whether you're holding on anywhere, where there's any tension, like the right hip might be tense subconsciously and the inner thighs might be holding on for some odd reason. So allow those to simply relax. And then when they do relax, you feel that suddenly you get a bigger stretch on that right side of your body. With the next inhale, come back into center line, drop your heels on the exhale over to the right, look over to the left side here again. If this is enough of a stretch, good. If not, Place the right ankle on the outside of your left knee and gently apply some pressure. You get a nice stretch from your left shoulder all the way down to your left hip and into your left outer thigh. Once again, travel inward and see whether you're holding on subconsciously anywhere, be it in the left hip or the inner thighs. Once you've done that, just allow everything to relax. And then you'll feel that lengthening on that left side. With the next inhale, come back into center line. Let's go into our famous bear pose, flexing those ankles and wrists. Everything is engaged, including the smile, except for the core. And we're gonna press that ceiling away, but don't lift your shoulder blades off the mat. Pull them nicely down flush with the mat. Very good. You're going to stay here for another five, four, three, two, one. And then let's shake it out. Shake anything out. The toes, the ankles, the feet, the arms, whatever wants to shake is allowed to shake for another four, three, two, one. And then just lower your arms and legs down to the mat. 
your palms are facing down because we're going to inhale deeply into the chest lifting your entire upper body off the mat up towards the ceiling and arching your lower back and then when we're exhaling we're going to lower the upper ribs onto the mat and then push your lumbar spine down towards the mat you might have to tilt your pelvis up a bit so that your pubic bone wants to come say hi to your nose again and then inhale again into your chest raising your chest up towards the ceiling arching your lower back might even feel a beautiful stretch in your psoas while you're like this and then exhale lower those ribs down onto the mat and your lower back tilting your pelvis and then inhale allow your spine to find its natural curve turn your palms facing up to have your shoulder blades flat on the mat remember to lengthen your neck spine or the cervical spine as well and allow your body to get nice and heavy and sink into the mat with each and every exhale your feet and your ankles relax your coughs your knees relax your thighs your pelvis relax your belly your chest relax your shoulders your arms relax your wrists the palm of your hands your fingers relax your neck the back of your head relax your forehead your eyebrows the space between your eyebrows relax the tip of your nose your lips your tongue relax your lower jaw your chin relax your cheeks your ears relax Allow the entire backside of your body to grow heavy and sink into the mat. Surrendering your weight to Mother Earth, where you're protected and safe. For the next inhale, bring your awareness back into the space on your mat and gently wriggle your fingers and your toes, awakening your body slowly. And then take a deep inhale into your belly and stretching your arms above your head, 
stretching your body from the tip of your toes all the way up to the tip of your fingers and down. And when you're ready, gently curl one knee after the other towards your chest. Be mindful of your spine. And gently sway from side to side, activating Ida and Pingala, the male and female nadis left and right of your spine. And then come to rest in the center, lifting your head and gently touching your forehead or nose towards the knees, like a small ball. And then come to lie flat on your back again. Roll over and come to lie in embryo pose. Knee and forehead move towards each other, curling up into a safe ball. And then with the next inhale, push up and come into a seated, comfortable position. Rooting down through your sit bones. Lengthen that spine one last time, coming nice into a tall seated position. Be pulled up towards the sky with this red thread. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Relax your forehead and place your hands either into your lap or onto your knees, wherever they want to come to rest today. And then travel inside, scan your body to see whether there's any dis-ease or discomfort. Should you encounter any, direct your breath there. And then take your hands in front of your heart center, thumbs lightly touching your sternum, lower your forehead down to your fingertips, and recall that intention, affirmation, dedication, or wish from beginning of the class, and repeat it to yourself three times. And then slowly raise your forehead off the fingertips. We're going to inhale through our nose and exhale through our open mouth. You're more than welcome to stick out your tongue. And we're going to repeat it three times. Inhale. Again. Last time. And take your thumbs up to your forehead. Love is in your thoughts. Take them down to your lips. Love is in your words. And back down to your heart center where love resides. And allow that sensation and feeling to spread out throughout your physical and emotional body and let it go out into the world, into the universe. And allow it to touch as many people as you'd like. Thank you for joining my class. I hope you're feeling great. Wishing you a beautiful Sunday.